Greetings, my little yarnivores. Fiber Spider back again with another tutorial. Now, in one of my last tutorials, I showed you how to make this crocheted basic hat with a ribbed brimming. And uh, in this one, I'm going to show you how to make a regular hat into a teddy bear hat or, you know, polar bear or a panda or, you know, any other sort of forest woodland creature. And uh, <laughs> so I'm going to show you um, how to, you know, go from a hat to a hat. <laughs> and uh, so now the basic pattern, um, I'm going to put a link in the description down below. And uh, so that'll link you to how to make the basic hat form. And then I'm going to show you in this video how to make the ears and how to attach them. It's super simple, no sweat, no pain. Okay. And so I'm going to get to it and, you know, I'll show you how it's done. All right. All righty. So after making the base hat piece, and making one ear. Obviously, we need two. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how to make the other ear so that you can make a pair and attach it to your finished hat there. Alrighty, so what we're going to need is, just like with the hat itself, we're going to need a size H hook so that it matches up with the stitching of the rest of the hat and of course we're going to need our scissors and our yarn needle so we're going to start crocheting in the round just like we did with the hat except this time it's going to be a slightly smaller circumference so we're going to start by chaining up four two three four there we go. And then we join by slip stitching into the first chain to make our ring. And then we chain up to one, two. And this chain does not count as our first double crochet. And we're going to do eight double crochets into this center chain. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, and eight. All right. <clears throat> Let me double count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we have our little chain two right here. Okay. So what we're going to do, just like with the hat pattern, is we are going to slip stitch into that first double crochet stitch, not the chain, but into the first double crochet stitch. We slip stitch into that and boom. All right, so that is the end of round one. All right, and since we're on this round, figure what we'll do is we will tighten up that center real quick and get rid of this <clears throat> pardon me and we'll get rid of this tail here at the same time make it nice and tight by going through the stitches all the way around this is what I always do especially with my amigurumi Alrighty, and a few more. Pull it nice and snug. See? Nice and tight. And then, snip. 
There we go. All right. And then we'll continue on to round two. All right, so for round two, we chain up two, and then we do two double crochets into this first stitch. One, two, and we're gonna do two in each stitch all the way around. So we're going from eight to 16 stitches by the end of the round. See? It's just two in each stitch. Okay? And I'll meet back up with you when I am done with this round. All right, so I've got 16 stitches, and as per usual, we slip stitch into that first double crochet finishing our round two. And for round three, we chain up two, and then we do two double crochets into the first stitch, and then one in the next, and then we do two double crochets in that stitch, and then one in the next. And we do this all the way around, and by the end of this round, we will have a total of 24 stitches. And I will meet back up with you at the end of this round. Alrighty, so we're at the end of the third round, and we're going to slip stitch into that first double crochet stitch, finishing up round three. And then for rounds four and five, it's just one stitch, one double crochet stitch into each stitch, no increasing from here on in. But you're still gonna chain up two, do a double crochet into that first, uh, <laughs> doing a double crochet into that first double crochet stitch, pardon me and then one stitch in each stitch all the way around, and we're gonna do this for two rounds. So we're gonna have a total of five rounds, and then the ear will, in essence, be done. It's a matter of finishing, sewing just a little bit, nothing too extreme, I promise, and we will be done with our bear hat. All right, so I'm gonna meet up with you when I am done with my row here, and then my next row, and then we will finish this. All right, be right back. Okay, so I'm just about done with round five, finishing it up by doing a slip stitch through that first stitch, pull out my yarn a little bit. Now you are gonna want a nice long tail, at least a couple feet, and snip, snip, and now, you're gonna need your yarn needle. And so you pull your yarn there. Okay, so what we're gonna do is stitch this closed. Makes it a bit easier to manage. And this really is nothing extreme. It's basically a whip stitch. So what you wanna do is through not both stitches, but just the one facing you, the outer stitch, you know, from the, uh, the ring, so to speak. So the outer stitch, and then through the outer stitch here. So outer and outer. Leave the inner ones alone. All right. And so we're just going to be going across, pairing up stitches all the way across and you don't want to have it be death grip tight as you're stitching along either you know just so that it's closed you know and 
if you like, you can also put in a little bit of stuffing, but I think that this is nice just the way it is. I mean, also, if you were to do stuffing, you would probably want to use single crochet stitches because this will poke through. And I like the uniformity of using double crochets throughout the entire project. To each their own, naturally, but, you know, if you want to use stuffing, use smaller stitches. Okay. And this is almost done. Told you it's pretty painless. <laughs> Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're actually going to stitch this to the hat. Alright, and then through these last two, and there we are. See? Nice and easy. Okay, now on to sewing it to the actual hat. Alrighty. <laughs> okay, now before I stitched on this first ear, I found where the join is. You know, it, it's pretty indiscernible, but seeing as how we are the ones who did the stitches, we know where they are. See, if you look on the inside, you can see here is where we did our join. And so typically you would want that to be in the middle back of where the hat is going to be. And I mean, it's pretty much, you know, the same on either side, but yeah, you want it to be at the, the center. All right. And then what you would do is lay your piece out as flat as you can and where I started is on the the third round from the top so you got one two and then three this third round and I continued so the third fourth fifth sixth and seventh so one two three four five so it goes across the span of five rounds and now you could conceivably stitch it on already puckered, but I find that when you are actually wearing the hat, it, it does that for you. You know, you really don't need to uh, go the extra mile on that one because the wearing of the hat does that for you. Okay, and actually, and doing it this way is just a little bit easier. All right, so what you want to do is line it up as best you can, and you're going to go through two loops on the hat, and then go through two loops on the ear. You really want this to be secure. You don't want this coming off naturally. And then you go through another two loops on the hat. And then through two loops or so on the ear. And this is just a simple whip stitch. Okay. And then you continue on in this fashion until you go down a total of five rounds, and you want to keep your stitches as even as you can get them. It's not an exact science, but you know, you can try to make it look neat, and seeing as how it's brown on brown on brown, <laughs> you know, Stitches are relatively nice and hidden as it is, as you can see, or not see, for that matter. Now, you could, of course, 
quite conceivably do a white hat with black ears, and it could be a panda hat, or white on white, you've got a polar bear, or all white, and, you know, you could be a little white mousy, you know, really, whatever works for you. Um, and of course, you can add other features as well. Let me just see, one, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, you can add other features as well. Um, you know, little face pieces, uh, a muzzle, um, some eyes, whiskers are great. You know, you can do whatever. I'm just trying to show you that, you know, simplicity works as well. Nothing wrong with that. And it's a great jumping off point into other creative things. It's always good to start from somewhere. And this is as good a place as any. And that's why I figured, you know what? Do a hat base first. Show you how to do that. And then, you know, you can get into the fun stuff. You know, let your creativity run wild. It's how you do it. You know, I didn't have a pattern for this. You know, I made this up. And it's only through doing it for as long as I have that I've been able to figure things like this out. You know, it takes time, patience, practice, and you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. See? So now we've got our two bare ears stitched on. Looks fabulous. And... Ah, this is just so wonderful. And I'm sure that it's going to make somebody very happy. Hmm. <laughs> So listen, thank you so very much for joining me today, and I hope that you liked this tutorial and that you learned something new. And if you did like this, please, by all means, hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button. And if you have any comments or questions, I would be delighted to hear from you. Those of you that have, it, it really makes my day. I can't tell you enough. I mean... Every day when I see something new, it just mm, tickles me. <laughs> so listen, knowledge is power, but sharing is caring. I could keep this to myself, but no, I would much rather share it with you, and I hope you do the same. Um, you know, make one of these up for somebody that you love, um, or better yet, make one of these up and donate it to a good charity. Uh, a lot of pe people are collecting right now for people in need for this season. It's going to be a cold one. And uh, so keep inspired, keep caffeinated, <laughs> and keep stitching. So until I see you next time, you have a great day, and keep it up, my little, my little yarnivores. All right, <laughs> bye for now.